140 crores and counting. That's the number of mouths to be fed in India every day. To feed this huge population, India has to produce huge amounts of food grains. To produce huge quantities of food grains requires tons and tons of chemical fertilizers like urea, diammonium phosphate and potash. An acre of land with paddy crop requires a minimum of 2 to 3 bags or 110 kgs of urea. However, in a bid to get higher yields, majority of farmers take to indiscriminate use of the fertilizer. This not only affects our health but also spoils the health of the soil, eventually leading to lower yield and making the soil unfit for agriculture. But things are on the cusp of a change with the coming of the nano urea. Nanourea is urea in liquid form that has been developed using nanotechnology by the Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited or IFCO, a garment cooperative society. Urea molecules of the size of 20 to 50 nanometers provide nitrogen to the crops in a targeted manner. The size of one nanourea liquid particle has 10,000 times more surface area to volume size compared to the conventional granular urea. Due to the ultra small size and surface properties, the nano urea liquid gets absorbed by plants more effectively when sprayed on their leaves. The traditional pellet urea, which is sprinkled on the land, provides just 30 to 50 percent of nitrogen to the crops, while the rest goes waste because of leaching, which also contaminates soil and water bodies. In the case of nano urea, 80 percent of the nitrogen is made available to the crop. Thus, one 45 kg bag of urea will be replaced by 500 ml bottle of nano urea. This 500 ml bottle is priced at Rs 240, much less than the conventional 45 kg urea bag, which averagely costs Rs 267. Nano urea has also proved to increase the crop yield by an average of 8% against conventional urea, along with improving the quality of farm produce. So the nano urea is a win-win for both the farmer and the soil, paving for a sustainable agriculture. Large-scale production of nano urea has commenced with Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurating the world's first nano urea liquid plant at Kalol in Gujarat. This plant is capable of producing 1.5 lakh bottles of nano urea per day. Eight more such plants are announced to be set up across India in partnership with National Fertilizers Limited and Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited. With this, India has become the first country to start commercial production of nano urea in the world. Nano urea will not just be lighter for the individual farmer, but also for the country's economy as well. A conventional urea bag costing Rs 3,500 is made available to the farmer at a heavily subsidized cost of Rs 300. For the year 2020-21, over 90,000 crore rupees was spent on subsidizing urea. With nano urea available at a price less than the conventional urea, this will save several thousand crores of taxpayers' money. Not just that. Currently, India is the third largest producer of urea and the second largest consumer of urea in the world. India annually consumes around 33 million tons of urea, of which almost 70% is domestically produced, while the rest is imported from other countries. The coming of nano urea will also reduce the import bills on urea and could in fact lead to more revenue for India through its export to other countries. To put it in a nutshell, the nano urea will provide nitrogen effectively to crops, reduce input cost for farmers, reduce usage and wastage of urea, reduce cost of logistics and warehousing, reduce soil pollution, reduce taxpayers' money going for subsidies, and reduce import bills. It wouldn't be far-fetched to say that the arrival of nano urea will herald a new era of green, sorry, a greener revolution.